In this video, we're going to learn about osmotic pressure. And osmotic pressure can be measured in a, the original U-tube right here. And what happens is you have a semi-permeable membrane separating two solutions. Now, you can either have different concentrations of solute particles on each side, or you can have the pure solvent on one side and then a solution on the other side with solute particles present. When you have the solute particles present, it's going to actually draw some of the solvent through the semi-permeable membrane while the solute particles again are not allowed to transfer back. The reason this is able to happen and you end up building up a different height on each side is because the flow of solvent going this way is not impeded by any particles while, however, going the other direction, the solute particles impede the solvent flow. And since the rates aren't going to be occurring equally, once it reaches equilibrium, you're going to have an imbalance in um, the volume on each side. And obviously gravity is pulling down on this when you have a difference in height. So that force over the area over which it's being applied gives you the pressure. And in this case, it's called osmotic pressure. And we can use this, um, using the osmotic pressure equation, to determine the concentration of a solution based on the osmotic pressure observed. So if I ask you to determine the molarity of this, if we said the osmotic pressure here was 0.15 atmospheres at 25 degrees Celsius, you can use this equation. The osmotic pressure is equal to the molar concentration times the ideal gas constant times the temperature. So this is molarity, 0.0821 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin, and this would be in Kelvin. So when we rearrange it to solve for the molarity to attack this problem, we simply plug in the pressure, osmotic pressure and divide by R and T, and then you could determine that the concentration of this solution that resulted in a pressure of 0.15 atmospheres is 0 0.0063 moles per liter. This is very similar to a real-world application called dialysis. It's a little bit different because dialysis allows for the flow of both solute and solvent particles based on the membrane in order to purify blood. But in the similarly, you still have an osmotic pressure that can be measured. 